Hello and welcome to CV Ray for SketchUp tutorial for beginners. Many artists rely not only on rendering to create a beautiful image, but on post-production as well. When it comes to basic color, there are numerous complex post-production pipelines requiring multiple software. However, correcting it in V-Ray itself is so much easier. The V-Ray frame buffer offers quite the variety of color correcting options. In this video, we will focus on a few of them. They are enabled by clicking on the icon in the lower left corner. The first option is the exposure control. This allows you to change the exposure of the image while the colors are still floating. Therefore, it acts as changing the exposure from the camera. You even have control over the exposed areas with the Highlight Burn slider. Next on the list is the white balance, which uses the typical photographic approach. Changing the slider into lower temperature, seen in Kelvin on the right, makes the image colder, and a higher value provides more warmth in the render. While the options up to now create the same effects as some camera options, there are quite a few typical post-production options as well. Hue Saturation is a great example of one of those, allowing you to control the color spectrum and intensity. Now let's try the color balance. It is divided into three subcategories, shadows, midtones, and highlights. This option is the artist's best friend when achieving the desired feeling of the render. It offers in-depth control, and by using these sliders you can completely change the whole feeling of the picture without making it look unrealistic. Another great color correcting tool in the VFB is the curves. By using this tool, you can adjust the contrast of the image, focusing on the lighter or darker parts. Manipulating the curve allows you to create more precise results than using only the contrast slider. You can, of course, combine all these beautiful tools together to create any custom result for a specific image or to use them many times as a VFB Instagram filter. You can save the color corrections you've made on your hard drive and load them on any render. This allows you to create your own library of color corrections. Anytime you make something you like, just add it to the family. The V-Ray frame buffer can work with a couple of other files, one of the most popular of those being LUT files. These are some of the most used color correcting tools inside the V-Ray frame buffer. All of them will allow you to push your creative freedom without the need to save images and move them to another software. Have fun! Thank you for being with us. Don't forget to subscribe for more great tips on how to use SketchUp. Have questions? Consider getting SketchUp Pro or want to get in touch? Feel free to visit us at www.aeco.space. See you next time. Thank <laughs> you.